And last time on Gex Enter the Gecko, I save stated in a very strange place because I don't want to go there yet. I want to get the silver remote in this level first. And I admit I did look in a walkthrough for this one because I didn't feel like searching around the level on film for several years. And so I'm going to try and find it now. It said go to the, I mean, on the path for uh, the dragon one, which is this one, I think. And then in the spinning platform room, you have to, like, jump on top of a sign, and then you should, like, lead to it. So, I'll see what that's all about. Okay, looking for a sign. Uh, I don't know. I'm gonna hit this gong first. Maybe it's up the stairs. I don't know. Okay, uh, maybe that's the sign they mean. Let's see. Can I even get up there? It doesn't really look like it. I don't know, but I guess I can. I just have to sort of get onto this awning thing. I don't know. So I've, I've never been on these on the awning. There might be something over there. But this camera's perspective is weird. What's up with this sign? Why can't I get on it? Okay, that time I could. That doesn't make any sense. And I fell. Come on. All right. Sweet. Yeah, that one was a lot harder than any other ones. Let's see, what else is here? Oh, there's more collectibles I could have gotten. That's kind of annoying. But anyway, I guess that's it for this level. Let's leave. Very annoying loading time, okay. Ah, what, ah! Uh, okay. I don't know what I just did. So anyway, that level's all done, and I'm going to try this bonus level now in Dragnet. Once again, it's a collect everything. Interesting. Ooh, a dead body. Great way to start out a level in an E-rated game. Or maybe... A KA game, if that rating still existed when this came out, I don't know. Lance's Lone Shark, oh, there's Diamond Shop, I can't read all these signs. All Night Explosives. Does that say Hitlers? What does that say? Oh, no, it says Archers. I thought that said Hitlers. I'm like, what the crap? I like this. Like, funky rendition of the, that almost sounds like the Bad Boys song from Cops. Oh, this level looks pretty neat. I remember it somewhat. Ah! I almost got hit by a train there. I think you have to ride the train. Like, after you get all the badges. Come on. Anything over here? I like this graffiti. Oh, damn it. Come on. Silver bullets. There's Hitler's explosives again. Except not. Uh, this is kind of annoying. Okay, nine left. I can do this, come on. Next big thing. Yeah, I bet the creators of this thought that Gex would be the next big thing, because they, they were trying to make a mascot of some sort. But it didn't really take off, now did it? I mean, he got a few games, but they're not that well known. Okay, got all the badges. Got a one-up for no real reason. 
I gotta catch the train, and the random letterbox cut off my number of lives and stuff. Oh, I thought I had to ride the train. Nope, I just have to go on it. Okay. That was a nice little diversion. So, I guess now I have no choice but to go to Frankensteinfeld, which I don't really want to do. I have about half of my time remaining, so I don't expect to get very far in the level, but we'll give it a shot. Doesn't matter which one I pick, because I have no idea which way, which way I'm going. Doesn't that look friendly? Uh-huh, we heard that line before. Okay. That was random. Once again, we have to get a whole bunch of collectibles. Which kind of detracts from the whole experience, because you have to be sure to check every single place, but that's okay. Alright, yeah, here we've got this circular room. I came out of one with a purple tint, then there's an orange tinted one and a green tinted one. Which way should I go? I like green, so I'm going to go in the green one. Let's see what's over here. Two flies. Uh, oh man, the fire one went away. That sucks. Okay, is that a bottomless pit? Yeah, it is. This level might actually be kind of challenging. But it probably won't be. Alright. Kill the zombie. I will steal your skulls. I don't know why you're carrying skulls. And here's some pumpkin. No real reason. Ah. Okay, what's in here now? <coughs> well, I got... I met my quota for skulls. I thought there would be something better in here, though. There's a hidden rum. I thought it might even be the silver remote already. But nope, no such luck. And there's a passage. Or how I get in there. Can I just jump up? Probably not. Bounce off the tip. No. Maybe I can do that. Bounce into it. No. Okay, forget it. Nope, another zombie. How original. Ah! The hell was that? That was a nice scream. Okay, there's a sticky wall. I'm gonna go this way first, though. Maybe. I don't know. Can't really tell where I'm going. Ah! It's a psycho kid. Gave me a ton of tombstones. Good lord. Oh, there's that passage. Pathage. I'm gonna get in there. Come on. Do a sea jump. There we go. Can I get back up? Nope. That's always fun to do things over again. But luckily it was not a long way. Okay, going, going, going. Ah, pentagrams. And a pumpkin. Hmm, I don't know, this level's actually being pretty generous with the collectibles, so... It might not be too hard to get them all. It's down there. There's another platform. I have no idea where I'm going now. This level seems to split in off into like a hundred different paths, and I don't know at all where I want to go. That was a one way. I almost fell in a bottomless <coughs> pit there. Ah! What the crap is that? Okay, more backtracking. Avoid the purple stuff. I was trying to time that and it didn't work. Oh, 
thing that most of the enemies in this aren't actually a threat. They just sort of make their presence. Where the crap am I? I already skipped like two possible paths here. The sticky wall and the pentagram path. And here's more sticky wall stuff. But I'm out of time, so I'll save state here. And that's it for now.